of Las Vegas, Bob Arum's top rank incorporated, and Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions, in association with MP Promotions and Hatton Promotions, are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBO and Ring Magazine Light Welterweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Rockstar, party like a rock star. Tecate, cerveza con carácter. Southwest Airlines, low fares, no hidden fees, and smart communications. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, IBO President Ed Levine. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout, Michael Pernick, C.J. Ross and Glenn Trowbridge. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Kenny Bayless. And now, with their places secured in the Hall of Fame, only one can become victorious tonight. So from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Waiting out of the blue corner with his head trainer, Floyd Mayweather Sr., wearing black with white and silver. Official weight, 140 pounds. Professional record, 46 fights. 45 victories, including 32 knockouts, with only one defeat. From Manchester, England, the three-time world champion and reigning defending IBO Ring Magazine light welterweight champion of the world, Ricky. Fighting out of the red corner with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with blue, officially weighing 138 pounds. Professional record, 53 fights, 48 victories, including 36 knockouts, three defeats and two draws. From Sarangani Province, Philippines, the five-time world champion, currently recognized as pound for pound. The best fighter in the world, Manny Pac-Man Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution to keep the fight clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch up. All right. Let me tell you right now, you can unplug your television sets because the electricity in this building <laughs> will keep them running. Kenny Bayless, the referee, young, athletic, takes control of the ring. I think you'd probably need a good young mobile referee in there tonight with these two. Manny Pacquiao, the pound for pound champion, the Pac Man against Ricky the Hitman Hatton, the junior welterweight championship of the world, and the title of best pound for pound fighter going. Live from Las Vegas, here we go. Here we go, gentlemen. Both on their toes. Both with a lot of fire. Hatton coming very fast at Pacquiao. He seems intent, 
and a lot of his pre-fight comments to show that he can also box tonight. But I think he's got to be the Ricky Hatton who comes forward and blasts to Well, that was a big blast from Manny Pacquiao with a right hook right to Ricky Hatton's forehead. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how both these fighters come out. Trying to set the pace, Hatton talking about trying to be a different fighter. This is second fight under Floyd Mayweather Sr. And already a couple of shots to the body as he ties up Pacquiao and fights in close. And he's caught him court a couple of times with that right hook coming in. I'll tell you who's going to be key in this fight is the referee. He's going to allow him to get, play into that style, to work into that midsection. Pacquiao working, uh, taking the shots to the body from Hatton. And this is turning into a brawl, which is exactly the kind of fight Ricky Hatton would want. Well, he's going to try to not let Pacquiao have a moment to relax. Pacquiao could basically sit back and pick apart Oscar De La Hoya because Oscar wasn't punching back. Well, Ricky Hatton is going to punch back, and he is going to punch first tonight. So it will be a different kettle of fish for Manny Pacquiao. Rich, you're exactly right. And not only that, there's lots of head movements, there's lots of feet movement, and the speed of... of, of uh... Oh! And Pacquiao, Pacquiao hurt. He caught Hatton leaning in with a big right hook, which he's going to have success with tonight if Hatton doesn't keep his hands up. And Hatton trying to hang on right now. Hatton cannot be too careless. Just check with Juan Manuel Marquez about what can happen in the first round against Manny Pacquiao. Well, this will be an interesting fight because neither one of these guys, as Pacquiao lands another right hand, was really challenged in his last fight. Oh, Kurt, Pacquiao with a shot combination. Oh, Hatton down here in the first round. Manny Pacquiao comes out two minutes into the opening round and he's already knocked down half. Hurt. The right hook was finding a home all the first round and it ended up dropping the hitman some extra, hit the floor. Some extra seconds there for Hatton to recover, but he's in deep trouble with about a half a minute to go. And Ricky Hatton has struggled against southpaws previously and seems to be in a battle already as Pacquiao is just bringing it to him. Freddie Roach predicted the third round. He said it as a joke to annoy Mayweather. He might have been a little too conservative. And Hatton's in trouble again. Final 10 seconds of round one, and Hatton's down for the second time here on this opening round. If he beats the count, he'll get the 60 seconds rest. Six, and he seven, needs it. Eight, he cannot be saved by the bell. Remember that. Unbelievable first round by Manny Pacquiao. What an impressive first round by Pacquiao. These were clean, perfect shots. Landed by Pacquiao. Look at that. What an incredible bat. What an incredible shot. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Ricky Hatton had never been knocked down at 140 pounds. He's been knocked down twice already in this opening round by Pacquiao. And we talked about his struggles against left-handers. You have to wonder, is he not able to see that right hook coming because of the weird angle? Being at the gym and seeing Freddie work, they worked on that punch time and time and time again. And boy, did it pay off. Hatton is still trying to shake out his legs. Look at him with his legs. He's still feeling the effects of that knockdown. Knockdowns. What a spectacular first round. Hatton just went through the same thing Juan Manuel Marquez did. Pacquiao out to prove to the world that his victory over Oscar De La Hoya no fluke. Hatton knocked Pacquiao off balance with that shot, but and now Hatton is still, left. he is still rocky. You know what's amazing too, Rich, is that all the damage was done with the right hand. And there was a time when Pacquiao couldn't even touch it with the right hand, and now he's knocking guys out, or down, I should say, with the right hand. That's really come the last year or two. As well, he gets rocked that time by Hatton. Well, with every succeeding year, he's become a more complete fighter. Now, let's not just completely write off Ricky Hatton yet, because remember the Marquez fight. After the spectacular first round of the Marquez fight for Pacquiao, Marquez dominated the rest of the bout. You brought up a very good point, Rich, because a lot of guys think 
He can't be that fast. He doesn't hit that hard until you're in there and you feel the power. And wow, it is a wake up call. And I know the great boxing announcer Jim Lampley has said many times about Ricky Hatton no fighter fights a full three minutes of every round like Hatton does. But Pacquiao, not phased at all, connects with a couple left hands again. Kurt, Ricky Hatton's style seems to play in perfectly into the hands of Manny Pacquiao, the new Manny Pacquiao. Now, Ricky just, he needs to get through this second round and get himself together. He's got no rhythm at all right now. Anything he may have learned under Floyd Mayweather is completely out the window right now. And that was what his trainer, uh, Manny Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, said. You can talk about a new Ricky Hatton and a different style, but once he gets hit, he's going to revert to what he's always been as he takes another left hand to the head. And there's no defense for a chin. <laughs> Your chin is what it is when you're taking hard shots from Manny Pacquiao. I haven't got one in there. But Pacquiao answers back. But he's getting outscored five to one, Hatton. The counter punch. And, and here he comes again, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. The combination's doing damage on Hatton. And Ricky Hatton right now seems to be in survival mode as we get to the final 30 seconds of the second round. Needs to get to his corner just to catch his breath. The movement of Pacquiao keeping Hatton in trouble. Manny Pacquiao never fails to surprise me with what he brings to the table. It's always a little better than I thought. Oh, oh God. Hatton down again. And now he might be out this hand, time. Rich. That's it. Ricky Hatton is done. Knocked out in the second round by Manny Pacquiao. Is there any question that he is the best fighter in the world right now? He just cemented his legend. Not, not only is he the best fighter in the world, he's the most exciting fighter. This is an all-time great. You understand that you're looking, as we look at Ricky Hatton here, but M Manny Pacquiao is an all-time great. You're exactly right. He's now surpassed that rich, and he's now cemented his legacy to call himself a legend, and, mind you, a legend in his prime. Ricky Hatton totally out of it, and we can only hope and pray that he's going to be all right. Now you can see the concern right now as they try and bring Hatton back, but taking care of him, and that was a big left-hand punch, and Pacquiao dominated this fight from start to a quick finish. Two knockdowns in the first round and a knockout here midway through the second. What a night for Manny Pacquiao. Freddie Roach was off by a round the good way. <laughs> well, he said he would be disappointed if it went three. He doesn't have to worry. It didn't even go two. And it was just a perfect punch. Hatton dropped his right hand, and Pacquiao came right over the lowered left hand. Watch, watch Hatton's left hand go down, and, Pat, and Pacquiao comes right over it. Right on the button. The knockout spot. One of the most spectacular, sensational knockouts. And of course, our thoughts are with Ricky Hatton. We don't want to go too nuts in our commentary here because Ricky, I don't believe, has gotten up yet. But it was a, there's no more you can ask of Manny Pacquiao. Well, we didn't really get a chance to get into it. The fight ended so quickly, but the big thing about fighting Pacquiao that so many fighters talk about is his angles and how difficult it is to see where some of those punches are coming from. And early on in that first round, it was the right hooks that seemed to surprise Hatton, knock him down twice. And this time, it was a big looping left. How does he do it? This is the sixth weight division. There's Ricky Hatton's fiance, who's obviously shaken by what has happened here. But how does Manny Pacquiao do it? Six weight divisions. How can a guy who was the flyweight champion of the world, knock out Ricky Hatton, knock out Oscar De La Hoya. It's, it's impossible. He, this is an, a force of nature, Manny Pacquiao, that is so unusual that he has to be labeled among the very greatest fighters who have ever stepped in a ring in any weight division. We did have a good shot there. You can see Ricky Hatton seems to have composed himself and is up right now. 
But the focus on Manny Pacquiao, only the second six division champion ever joining Oscar De La Hoya. Here's Michael Buffer. Round number two, the winner by TKO victory. And now the new IBO and Ring Magazine, late welterweight, champion of the world, and still pound for pound, the best in the world, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. You are looking at greatness. He's fought in four different weight divisions in his last four fights, won them all, has now won titles in six weight divisions, and as I said, Oscar De La Hoya, the only other fighter ever to do this, and right now, Manny Pacquiao is a guy who is in his prime. This is not a guy who's collecting belts at the end of his career, and also, you know, Oscar De La Hoya has even commented that it's more impressive to bounce around in different divisions and knock off guys than just being a dominant fighter and taking all comers in a single division.